Yep, in the early 1980s, Sharon Gless stepped into the role of NYPD detective Christine Cagney. Half of the team that would revolutionize television and the way audiences saw women. Cagney and Lacey, starring Gless and Tyne Daly, reached an audience of well over 30 million viewers. In her new book, Apparently There Were Complaints, Gless looks back over her five decades in Hollywood. Your roles, both you and Tyne Daly, they were groundbreaking, strong-willed, badass women. Uh, who thank you. We're all so good friends. How important was that role for women? As it turned out, very important. But at the time, I have to tell you, I don't think Tyne nor I knew the impact those two characters were going to have. We were thrown off the air, or Cagney and Lacey itself was thrown off the air three times by the time it was over. Many of our episodes, affiliate stations would not air them. They were just too shocking at that time. We dealt with women's issues. We were the first television show to star two women in a drama. Mary Beth, I am pro-choice. You know I've never led my life any other way. But that doesn't mean I'm... I'm also pro-life. So you're on everybody's side? You have to take a stand on this one, Christine. Otherwise, you'll walk on the fence. Okay, I'm walking the fence. Mm -hmm. We had Laverne and Shirley, we had Lucy and Ethel, yep. but no one had really taken women seriously in serious roles. The man who created the role, Barney Rosenzweig, said in a fairer world, we could have worked in the post office. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter where we worked. It wasn't about our jobs so much as it was about the two women yeah. and their lives. And But the role of cops was even more dangerous. There were never women, part female partners. Yeah. In the police force in New York. But while we were on the air, two women did become partners. The badges we wore actually were retired by the New York Police Department and given to us. Oh, my God. I have the chills right now. Writing a memoir, I mean, I must have been daunting knowing all this. How did you approach this book and funnel all these stories into one place? Well, it was daunting at the time, and it took me seven years to do it. Wow. So I thought of the title first. Apparently there were complaints. And that gave me uh, the lead as to where to go with the mm. subject matters of all the complaints about me in my life. Mm. Um, uh, some are funny, some weren't so funny. Yeah. Let's talk about when you started, like your experiences growing up and, and how you got into acting in the first place. Oh, well, I think I'd always wanted, I was one of those children, I think you always wanted to be an actress. My mother said I was leaping all over the house. And, <laughs> and my first audience was the mirror door in my bedroom. Um, yes. You know, like children, you hold your tears in until you get to the mirror and then, woo. I went to the movies all the time. Yeah. And I dreamed eventually that one day I'd be doing that. As it turned out, I did. I have done some features, but television is really where I landed and what had been good to me. And there's no medium in the world more powerful than television. You did write about some difficult moments in your life. Uh, I'm not sure if what you were alluding to is one of them, but you, you inject a lot of humor as well. Uh, was that important to you? Is that Have you used humor to get through a lot of the difficult things? Always, eventually. <laughs> Eventually. eventually eventually yes i mean i can't say it's just you know right nothing yeah um, but eventually right i have been able to laugh at almost or with almost everything by the what time you're my age yeah it's not so serious you know, and, and you have to go through, uh, everybody does. You have to go through bad times to form, to become wiser and, and more experienced. And otherwise you have nothing in here to share if you're an actor. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's why it always baffles me when very, very young actors can, can bring that big emotion. I'm like, where the heck did you get that from? Um, you're well, an Emmy. In place in their childhood, sadly. Yeah, and sadly, that is true. Uh, you're an Emmy and Golden Globe winner. What has been your favorite role to work on and why? Oh, my gosh. Um, I've had so many. Um, I've, 
I would say probably the most powerful role that that then for forged another career for me mm-hmm. after I left Universal Studios uh, was was Cagney and Lacey. Yeah, it's shown all over the world. It changed the history of television for women. It let women know that they they can have it. You can have it all. Yeah. If you want. It's not just a man's world. But I, I say that about anything. You have to work hard no matter what. Yeah, it's true. You don't get a free ride when you're a woman. That's the truth. You I mean, you really... You have, to show, you have to show your your stuff. You always get to work um, harder. But you can also rise higher. Mm. Such a great conversation with her.